Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Captain Cowboy and my boy Swag here with some yeah, high yeah. beginner's guide. This is the mini series. I don't know what part number this is, it's probably a lot. Seven. And seventeen? Cool. One no, seven. Seven. Cool, part seven. So today we're gonna be talking about construction. And this is just gonna be a basic general overview of all the different construction that we want to be focusing on in our castle. So, here we're going to go. So, when you start off, you're going to be a little baby in castle level 1, and you're going to be following along. It's going to be the tutorial. And it pretty much tells you everything that you see here. Well, you click on that little link, and it takes you exactly where you need to go to complete whatever challenge, um, whatever quest there is for you. So, like, my quest here tells me to kill a level 36 monster. Well, there are no such things as level 36 monsters outside of Blood Moon, and I haven't been to Blood Moon yet. So I can't physically complete that, but as a little baby one castle, you're going to have so many different uh, challenges that you can complete. And they give you rewards, they give you resources, they give you lord experience. So, early on construction, you are going to click this little button on the bottom left, and you're going to do exactly as it says. And you're going to do this up until Citadel level 22. Now, if you are in the playtest, this is great. But if you're not on the playtest, this is when we're going to want to start changing gears. Now, regardless, we're going to start changing gears here at Citadel 22. So the reason we're doing this at Citadel level 22 is because now this is when we're going to start hitting higher resource costs. This is when we're going to start getting some special materials being utilized in different buildings, such as the prison where we're going to be seeing our uh, war shackles. We're going to start seeing some of those other different special types of resources that cost gold or just cost grinding. So, we're going to go to our citadel and we're literally just going to look, okay, here are all the different requirements to go to the next level. And you're just going to click on them and you're just going to do the bare minimum. Now, you're going to get a little runaround like you see I'm getting right now. I want to upgrade my wall, but in order to upgrade my wall, I need to upgrade my forge. In order to upgrade the forge, you have to upgrade the iron mine. And there's different requirements throughout and it gets to be a bear especially with resources, time, speed ups, the whole nine yards. So, once you hit Citadel 22, this is when you switch gears and start focusing hard on only the bare minimums. Now, every single time you do your Citadel level, you're thinking, well, I'm only doing the bare minimum. When do I catch up? Well, there are certain levels that will require you to do essentially every single building before you can upgrade your Citadel level. Then you'll find Citadel levels where it's really nice and easy to upgrade. I hear I had Citadel 31 to 32, that was nice and easy, but 32 to 33, now I have to catch up. So this is going to be really hard for me to go to 33, but there's one thing that you always want to bring up with your Citadel level, and that is your command center. Your command center is your march capacity, your deployable troop size, and it increases by 10,000 for every single building level. This is paramount that you keep this up with your Citadel level so that when you're on the offensive, you can maintain your building levels and your deployable troop size. So, 22 on, you're going to do the bare minimum and you're going to bring up your command center. Now, this is you no, know, this is going to help you out. It's going to keep your costs low and your upgrades high. Now, you're going to want to stop off around 27, 28 for a while cuz that's where things are going to really start getting expensive and this is when we're going to want to start switching gears over to something else such as research and getting our stats higher. But Another way that we can get stats through our construction and through our buildings is going to be our outside buildings. People always ask me, how much composition should I have of each? Well, let me explain this really nice and easy. You need at least one building of each type in order to do every single upgrade for your citadel. So, now we have one of each building. So we have one farm, we have one sawmill, we have one quarry over here, we have one iron mine, how do I fill the rest of my buildings? Well, it's nice and simple. You want to have 10 barracks, you want to have 10 hospitals. You want to have 10 silver mines. Now, you might need a higher citadel level in order to unlock more slots, so focus off on the things that are most important, such as your hospitals and your barracks. Now, the reason that these are so important is not only because they're giving you that troop uh, the training capacity increase and the tra troop training speed increase, but it's also giving us troop defense plus 2% for each building. So this is stackable. I have 10 buildings, that's 20% per level. Now, it only increases a higher percentage, 
like if I'm bringing it up to 26, it's not going to increase to like 4%. It's going to increase by 5% once the building hits level 30. So there's no stat increase from 26 to 29. You get that stat increase at 25, 30, and 35. So barracks is going to be our troop defense. Our hospital is here on the other hand. I'll show you level 30. This gives us our 5%. Hospitals give us our injured troop capacity increase. And it's also giving us troop health. You know, it sounds about right. You know, if you're having a hospital, that's hospitals or health, HP, you know, it's synonymous. Now, our silver mines, well, these are going to be our troop attack. Now, we're not really caring about the resource gain that we're getting from this because there's much easier ways to get resources in game. What we're really looking here for is this troop attack. It's going to be the same principle with that stackable at 25 that 30 and 35 levels so as soon as you get 25 you want to bring up all these levels and you want to have all 10 of each at level 25 so you can get these troop stat increases now this is going to cover essentially all the construction that we want to be focusing on inside of our citadel level because there's going to be again certain levels that require you to get almost just essentially every single level um, to this to that max level before you can go on now you'll notice that academy sometimes in order to unlock some new skins will require you to get a new level like at level 30 um, you have to get academy level 30 in order to get the iron fortress well the iron fortress actually it's pretty sweet but what it really gives you is this troop training too but we'll get more into all of that later on once we get into research well ladies and gentlemen thank you all for watching this video on construction I hope you all enjoyed it if you enjoyed watching this video you want to get into the play test go ahead and message me on discord line email twitter however you want to message me reach out to me i can get you into the play last play test it works for new players only um new first time downloads and also don't forget to subscribe like and share this with all of your friends ladies and gentlemen thank you all for watching this is Cam cowboy signing off